Now this is probably a great time to mention the work area and a few shortcuts you can use to set the work area. I'm just going to drag this beyond zero seconds. Now to set the work area to the beginning of this layer, I can press the I key to move the current time indicator to the start frame, then press B, then I can press the O key, then I can press N. But that really is the slow way to do it. Let me just bring that back. A much faster way to do it is to hold down Control alt or Command option on Mac with the layer selected and press B. And if I have multiple layers like this, Control alt b will encompass all of the selected layers. Now, something of note, if I have nothing selected, Control alt b will set the work area back to the length of the composition. Let me just select those again. Control alt b Now something also to mention is if I right click on the work area, I can choose to trim this comp to the work area. Let me just choose that. And now we've trimmed it to just these layers. I'm going to undo that. And notice in here also, if I just set my work area arbitrarily here, if I right click again, you've also got options to lift the work area and extract the work area. Let's try lifting the work area. And you can see that lifts out that section, which is quite useful. If I choose Extract Work Area, that'll remove that section and slide the layer back. So definitely handy to know that these options are here. I generally tend to use the Trim Comp to Work Area much more than I use these two options. We should probably also mention here the Time Navigator. And we use the Time Navigator for zooming in and zooming out of the Timeline panel. Now, the slow way would be to grab the end or the start and just drag them in and out as I'm doing here. You could also use this little slider down here to zoom in and zoom out. I like to use the plus and the minus keys on the keyboard. So plus to zoom in and minus to zoom out. You can also double click on the bar and that will zoom in and zoom out. 